Hi friends, today we will read the anterior region of the neck. In anterior region of the neck is divided into two portions. Okay, first is the basic structure, a structure in the anterior line of the neck, and second is the triangles. Before going on detail in the triangles, first of all we have to understand this arrangement, structure arrangement. Anterior region of the neck is extended between two sternocleidomastoid muscles. These are two sternocleidomastoid muscles and posterior from mastoid process, from mastoid process to angle of the mandible and after that area between two sternocleidomastoid muscles is the anterior region of the neck. In this uh, triangles, one thing is the triangle, second su this is a hyoid, suprahyoid area, infrahyoid area, this all three is come under the anterior region of the neck. This number one, number two, number three and the four, these are the triangles. Before going into detail, before going into detail of in, uh, triangles of the neck, uh, it's great clinical important to know structure in the anterior medial line of the neck. Anterior region of the neck is divided by anterior medial line of the neck in two anterior triangle of the neck, either side. This is the one portion and this is the second. So anterior region of the neck is divided into two regions by anterior medial line of the neck. And this structure, why we are reading this structure, this is very useful and, the, and these structures are very essential uh, during tracheostomy and our in clinical in our clinical examination it's great important is to knowing swell, uh, to knowing this structure are very important because we have to know uh, swelling in the anterior midline of the neck okay from where it swelling is arising okay it may be going there it may be thyroglossal duct, okay, and problem in that, uh, or here is the submental triangle, okay, I will teach you submental triangle. So, submental lymph node, enlargement of the submental lymph node, okay. So, for that purpose only, we are reading this also, okay. So, these are the sternocleidomastoid muscles, I already told. This is the anterior value of the digestion. This is the posterior value of the digestion. So, anterior value of the digestic and the posterior value of the digestic. Between this triangle is known as the digestic triangle and that we will read in detail in the next video. Number, number two, this is the carotid triangles. This is the carotid triangle and this is the superior value of the omohyoid. This is the hyoid bone, this is thyroid cartilage and after that this is cricoid cartilage and this is the tracheal ring. Okay, so these are the and anterior region of the neck. This is the symphysis mantle and this is the lower border of the mandible. So this area is called anterior region of the neck. Now we are moving on the structure in the anterior medial line of the neck. In this first structure between the symphysis mantle and the supraesternal notch. Structure between symphysis mantle and the supraesternal notch. These structures are structure in the anterior medial line of the neck. So First of all, symphysis mantle. First, second is the fibrous raphe. This fibrous raphe is extended from symphysis mantle to the hyoid bone. After that, hyoid bone. Hyoid bone level of the hyoid bone is the C3. C3, cervical vertebra 3. This is the level. Okay, landmark is the very very important in the anatomy. Okay, after that, in the, uh, this landmark now, hyoid bone uh, level is the C3. Cricoid cartilage level is the C6. So this cricoid ca cartilage landmark is the very important for uh, it is C6 level. It is the junction between the trachea, uh, the larynx and the trachea. And after that uh, C6 uh, um, vertebra, it's the level of the uh, uh, level of the pharynx and the esophagus. Okay, it's the junction, junction between the larynx and the um, larynx and the trachea and the pharynx and the Esophagus. Okay, so trachea is starting from C6 vertebra. Okay, it's very important to know. After that, from here, this is the thyrohyoid membrane. This is the hyoid bone. This is the thyroid cartilage. Okay, so this is the upper border of the thyroid cartilage between the hyoid bone and the thyroid. There is a membrane that is called thyrohyoid membrane. 
I mentioned here thyroid membrane. This structure is the angle of thyroid cartilage. Angle of the thyroid cartilage is the prominent in the adult male. Okay, that is called the Adam apple. Thyroid cartilage I already told uh, level is the C six. Between the thyroid and the thyroid there is a ligament. I showed here. Okay, thyroid thyroid ligament or membrane. This is the first tracheal ring. After that, this gland is this gland is the thyroid gland. These are the two lobes of thyroid gland, which is secreted like this. And between this is isthmus. So isthmus is the uh, structure in the anterior midline of the neck. This is the isthmus. After that, last here is the suprasternal notch. Before suprasternal notch. Inferior thyroid vein. We will read inferior thyroid vein in the thyroid gland. Okay, thyroid gland. There is. Uh, I will tell you blood supply in that artery and the uh, veins. So one of vein is the inferior thyroid vein. There is uh, superior thyroid vein, middle thyroid vein. I will teach you there. So inferior thyroid vein is here, and this arch is jugular venous arch. And last I told you suprasternal notch. So this whole structure we have to. Remember, in the thyroid cartilage, upper border of the thyroid cartilage is only structure in the anterior middle line of the neck because thyroid cartilage is uh, somewhat wider. Okay, and structure in the anterior region of the neck, it is two to three centimeter wide area only from ear to ear. So thyroid cartilage, upper border of the thyroid cartilage is considered in the structure in the anterior mid, uh, middle line of the neck. So these all are the structure in clinical important tracheostomy tracheo uh, usually tracheostomy is performed after the thyroid gland only i mean behind the thyroid gland okay so we have to know the uh, isthmus of the thyroid so uh, what all are the structure is the above the isthmus of the thyroid what all the below the thyroid so this all we have to know in the cut throat wound what happening in the cut throat wound uh, Cut throat wound is generally it occurs uh, um, above or the um, above or the below the hyoid bone. Okay, and the great vessels, great vessels like um, uh, common carotid artery, external carotid artery, internal carotid artery, jugular vein. And these all are from here. Okay, these all are going from here. So during this injury, this all major vessels is the escape this injury. So we have to know if somebody having injury in the anterior region. Okay, so we have to know that uh, okay, all the uh, great vessels are the safe. Okay, so person is the safe, not that much a uh, problem. Now this all are the structure is the structure in the anterior middle line of the neck, and it is the short notch for uh, you guys. And after that, uh, one thing is this is the hyoid bone. This is the hyoid bone level of the hyoid bone C three. Above the area that is called suprahyoid, suprahyoid, and below that is called infrahyoid. Suprahyoid and the infrahyoid. We will read muscles of the suprahyoid and the infrahyoid muscles of the neck. That we will read in the next video. So, what you have to know this structure, all you have to know. After that, only one thing you should know that is the Just arrangement of the hyoid bone. This is the hyoid bone. After the thyroid cartilage, after the thyroid cartilage, and after the sternum. If you know this, all four, okay, you you can write very easily suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles of the neck. One thing. Second thing. Yeah, now isthmus is here. Thyroid cartilage is here. Sternum is here. So when I will teach you thyroid gland, then relation of the thyroid, relation of the isthmus. This is the anterior surface, and there is the posterior surface. This is the superior border, and this is the inferior border. So, what can be relation uh, anterior surface of the uh, isthmus? This is the isthmus. So, uh, what are the relation of the anterior surface of the isthmus? This is the sternum. This is the thyroid. So, sternothyroid muscles. One. Second, this is the thyroid, and uh, this is up to this. This is the thyroid cartilage. And this is the hyoid. So thyroid muscles. One. This we will read in the uh, where when the um, 
triangle this the number 3 triangle is the muscular triangle okay so i will i will teach you how to write floor of the triangle okay that is the more important that's why i am explaining all this thing in the anterior triangle of the neck i know you will write boundary and everything in easy way but when you write when you about to write floor of the all those triangle okay you will feel very difficulty for that purpose only we have to understand this all things okay so this is the hyoid bone this is thyroid thyrohyoid muscles one sternum and hyoid sternohyoid muscles second sternum and the thyroid sternothyroid muscles third okay so these all will form the floor of the muscular triangles and this three and this is the what superior belly of the hyoid so all those muscles come under the or below the thyroid so below the, below the hyoid so what is this this is the infra hyoid muscles of the neck okay in next video i will tell you infra hyoid muscles uh, when i will teach you um, how to write floor of the every triangles okay you should not mind it okay so i will teach you how to write triangles so on that time i will tell you i will explain uh, what are uh, what uh, all four muscles are the infra hyoid and the supra hyoid okay they can ask in uh, in your mcq okay which one of the following is the supra hyoid muscles or which one of the following is the infra hyoid muscles okay so for that purpose you have to know this okay this lecture one this arrangement and next in the anterior triangle of the neck okay all those are connected thing okay if you know this uh, this is the hyoid bone this is the thyroid and then the, and this is the sternum so you can write very easily and it will help in our way uh, when we read in the larynx there will, it will come thyroid arteries will come uh, what is the larynx larynx is the gem of the cartilage only okay so in the thyroid cartilage cricoid cartilage so uh, here membranes will come okay ligament and the membrane all things will come that we will cover in the larynx part only okay so for larynx pharynx uh, mainly for larynx uh, this topic is important anterior triangle of the neck this topic is very important for isthmus this topic is the very important right how to write floor for that this topic is the very important so this topic is very very important so we covered the structure in the anterior middle line of the neck and the next video we will see the triangles of the neck anterior uh, triangle in the anterior region of the neck after that the posterior regions okay so thank you very much thank you